In this tutorial, we are going to learn to use if statements in Python. If statements are very important in programming. Using if statement, we can build programs that can make decisions based on some condition. So, if some conditions are true, one thing will happen, otherwise something else will happen. For example, if it is rainy day, the program will tell the users, carry an umbrella. If it is a sunny day, the program will say, no need to carry an umbrella. And if it is neither, the program will say, please check the weather. So this is what we are going to implement in this lesson. Start by defining a boolean variable, is underscore rainy. And set this to true. Next, we add an if statement. Then we need a condition. In our case, this boolean variable is the condition. So if this value is true, then we are going to do certain things. In this case, we want to tell the user carry an umbrella. In our program, after the if condition, add a colon, note that when I press enter, PyCharm automatically indents our cursor. Now any code we write here will be executed if this condition is true, otherwise it will be ignored. Let's write a print statement and it says carry an umbrella. Now let's press enter. You can see the cursor is still indented. That means we can write more code that executes if this condition is true. In this case, let's say we don't want to write any extra code. So terminate this block by pressing shift tab. We can also use backspace. Now the cursor is at the beginning of the line. Let's run this program. And we can see carry an umbrella on the terminal window. But if I go over here and change this boolean value to false and run the program again, the message disappears. Alright? Let's add a second rule here. If it is not rainy, that means if is rainy is false, we are going to print please check the weather. It means the program doesn't know what is going on outside. So here outside of the indentation we type else colon. Now press enter again and once again our cursor is automatically indented. So the code that we will write will be executed if this condition is not true. So we can print, please check the weather. Now run the program for one more time. So we got the message, please check the weather. We don't see carry an umbrella here because is rainy is false. Now change this boolean value to true and run this program. This time we can see carry an umbrella but we can't see please check the weather because is rainy is true. When is rainy is true only this block is executed and this block is ignored. Let's improve the capability of our program. Add another boolean variable is underscore sunny and set it to true. Make it false. Now if it is rainy then this block will be executed and if it is not rainy we want to run another condition check instead of jumping into else and we can do it using else if condition. Type elif here it is the short form of else if. 
we need a condition here, which is is sunny. Finally, add a colon and hit enter. It means we are inside of this else if condition now. Let's print no need to carry the umbrella. Now, is rainy is false. That means this block will not be executed. Is sunny is true. That means we will see no need to carry the umbrella on the terminal window. Let's run this program and we can see no need to carry the umbrella. Let's make both of these false. So now this condition is false. This condition is false. So we are having whatever we have in else condition. That is, please check the weather. Alright, that's all for this lesson. Let's go to the next lesson.